Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Mavi and Bub Show. So I have one of my doll volunteers today, which is Samantha Parkington. We also have Kit here, but she's not really going to be in the video that much. She's just going to be sitting down here. And then I also have Belle. She is my newest Build-A-Bear and my first. Um, I'm going to be seeing if the Build-A-Bear clothes fits American Girl doll clothes, American Girl dolls, and I'm going to see if um, American Girl doll clothes fit build fit Build-A-Bear clothes. So it's a little bit confusing, but just wait, you'll see in the video. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is undress my bear. I'm going to take off her shoes. Let me show you her shoes. They're really pretty. Like yellow, so cute. And then, um, it's her feet. So I got my noise and I recorded my own voice, so. I'm saying hi, so yeah. And now I'm going to take off her dress. I know that obviously the shoes are too big for American Girl dolls, but we're just gonna try it out for fun. I haven't seen my Build-A-Bear like this in a while. So I'm gonna put her aside for now. And I think her dress is really pretty. It's very fancy. Now Samantha's going to put it on. I kind of doubt that it will fit, but then I also hope it does fit in a way. So let me undress Samantha now. Okay, so the only thing I took off of Samantha is her dress, and I'm going to be using that later. I'm gonna put it aside. So I left her leggings and her um, shorts on and her shoes. Now, this dress looks pretty big for her. I think it kind of fits her. You guys, if Samantha had an undershirt, this would be amazing. Isn't she like the prettiest doll ever? So, as you can see, she's wearing the dress. It was pretty easy to put on because it's pretty big. Build-A-Bear doll, Build-A-Bear stuffed animals are bigger than American Girl dolls. Um, it was pretty easy to put on, like I said. There, it's just showing right here a little bit. So if I had an undershirt, this would be amazing. And it could be a good Halloween costume. And she looks so pretty. Um, She could be like Belle for Halloween or something. And I think this is really pretty for, I'm gonna leave it on for now for this video. Um, I'll set her down over here. But uh, the dress comes up to like about her ankles. Now we're going to see if Samantha's meat outfit, this dress, fits my Build-A-Bear. So I kind of doubt it, but it's like I said, um, I kind of doubted this fitting her, so we'll see. Okay, you guys, I couldn't even get the sleeves on. The sleeves are basically falling off. I didn't even get to put the dress on her. The sleeves are super small for the bear, and um, like it needs to be more longer at this part. So sadly, this doesn't fit um her, but hope, but thankfully this does because it's a bit bigger, and I think it's really pretty. Now I'm probably gonna change them back in a time lapse motion. Okay, you guys, so that wraps it up for seeing if um, Build-A-Bear stuffed animal clothes fit Samantha, uh, EG doll clothes. And the reason why I use Samantha in this video is because in a lot of the stop motions that I've done for AGSMs, basically, um, Leah and Valerie have been like the main characters, like Leah's or Valerie stole Leah's camera. It's just hard to think of um, EGSMs with Samantha in it. So that's why I chose Samantha as my doll volunteer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good bye.